Hey everybody, welcome back to The Wolf Pit with another episode of Eating on a Budget. Today I'm going to make a delicious and filling casserole for you, the people, to feed your family for a dollar per serving. Everything costs twice as much this year than it did last year, so budget meals are important. But just because it's a budget meal doesn't mean you have to sacrifice flavor or fulfillment. I'm using ham today because it was on sale. And because I like ham. Not from a can, but in a pan. Who do I think I am? That Dr. Seuss man? Any kind of meat will work in this recipe. Ah! Boogeyman! You nail the window shut! I'll get the gun! Well, let me rephrase that. Almost any meat. That meat is more confusing than vegetarian bacon. I'm not even sure Mikey would try that one. But seriously, any kind of meat will work. Ground beef, chicken, turkey, leftover meat, tofu, tofu? I'm not gonna try that one, but if you do, let me know how it turns out. So into a large pot of boiling salted water, add one pound of elbow macaroni or any kind of macaroni you like. So once the water comes back up to a boil, cook according to the directions on the box, minus two minutes. But do not rinse. If you rinse it, you're washing off all the starches that all the goodness is gonna stick to. While our elbow macaroni was cooking, we went ahead and diced up the ham into little bite-sized pieces. Now once your ham's diced up in small pieces, add it to the same pan. If you want to add more color and flavor to your ham, don't pour it all in at once like I did. Otherwise, it's going to boil, which is still okay. We're just trying to feed our bellies. We're not really trying to impress anybody. So whether the ham is brown or not, it's still going to taste good. So as you know in most of my videos, we have the obligatory whole stick of butter or half a stick of butter. But in this recipe, we're only using a half a stick of butter. So add the butter to the pan and then add equal parts of all-purpose flour. And what we're doing here is making a roux. And of course, it would be much easier to make the roux if I took the ham out of the pan, but I'm a lazy man, so I left it in the pan. Now let the butter and the flour come together and cook for a minute or two. And then start adding cold milk. I like to add milk a little bit at a time, but you can actually add it all at once. And even though you could use skim milk, 1% or 2% milk, whole milk works the best. And if you're trying to be conscious about calories, you might want to just eat a salad. But it's time to be serious. When you're struggling for money and you don't know when you're going to get your next meal and you're really trying to stretch what you have, calories and fat actually matter in a good way. And if you know what the name of this mother sauce that we're making is called, leave it in the comments. The first 850,000 people that answer it correctly get a free one-year membership to the Wolf Pit. And don't forget to share this great opportunity with your family and friends and also ask them to subscribe. Because with each new subscription, I come that much closer to 1 million subscribers. And if you, the people, remember, I promised, once I hit 1 million subscribers, I would eat a flip-flop, and that's going to be an opportunity you don't want to miss out on. And I've never had flip-flop, I don't know what it tastes like, I don't know how to cook it, so if you have a suggestion on a recipe, let me know. And now it's time to season our sauce. Season it however you like, with whatever you have on hand. If you like bland food, don't season it at all. I just season very precisely with black pepper, granulated onion, and granulated garlic. But hold off on the salt because the ham already has a lot of salt and the next ingredient also has a good amount of salt. Realistically, you could stop right here and pour this over toast or biscuits and you've made shit on a shingle. Just with ham instead of chip beef, ground beef, sausage, what would obviously be sausage gravy on biscuits, and I've even made it with Spam from a can because that's the man I am. I'm not sure why I have so many Dr. Seuss references in this video. I've obviously been reading too many Dr. Seuss books to my grandson, but I heard a while back that some people are actually offended by Dr. Seuss. I'm not really going to get into all that on this video, but I do have a story to tell you. I was in the hospital over the weekend and I heard someone sneeze and I said, God bless you, which the way I was raised was the polite thing to do. And you would have thought that I just killed this woman's firstborn. She lost her ever living mind and started screaming like a banshee. And this doesn't happen often, 
but I was at a loss for words. So in order to de-escalate my politeness, I slowly rolled away. We live in a very diverse world nowadays, and we all have to be able to get along and understand everyone's differences. And there's a right and wrong way to do that. So now, back to our regular scheduled program. To our bechamel sauce with ham, we're gonna add cheddar cheese. Hand shredded, straight out of the bag. You can use any kind of cheese you like. And if you like it, even Limburger cheese will work. It was good enough for the Three Stooges, so it's good enough for this recipe. That is, as long as you enjoy the smell and taste of dirty, wet socks. But even though it's good enough for this recipe, I'm not gonna eat it. So now we have a cheese sauce with ham. So to the cheese sauce with ham, add whatever kind of vegetables you like. I used a bag of frozen vegetables that had carrots, broccoli, edamame, water chestnuts, which I thought was weird, but added a nice crunch, and I think that's it. It might have had a pea or two in it, but I threw those across the room. And then add your partially undercooked blob of elbow macaroni. Give it all a mix until everything's incorporated, and then pour it into a 9 by 13 dish. Top it with a little bit of extra cheese if you have it. If you don't, don't worry about it. And then if you want to be extra fancy and add a little bit of crunch on top, add some breadcrumbs. If you don't have breadcrumbs, turn your toaster upside down and shake it really hard. There'll be more crumbs in there than you'll need for this dish. Well, at least in my toaster there will be. And if you're one of those people that actually clean your toaster and there's not enough crumbs, look in the little drawer underneath your stove. There's definitely going to be crumbs there, but they might not be all breadcrumbs. You only live once, so throw caution to the wind and use what you can find. If it doesn't kill you, it'll make you stronger. So put the casserole into a 400 degree oven for about 15 to 20 minutes or until everything is bubbly and the top is golden brown. And then it's time to dig in and enjoy. And this will definitely feed a lot of people. This is a creamy, rich, delicious, and inexpensive meal to feed your family. Now I want to do something that I haven't really done in my videos before and talk about me just for a second. And a lot of you have never seen what I look like and I get so many requests for me to post a picture. So the kind of mood I'm in today, which is a very excellent mood, I'm going to show you a picture of me. But like I mentioned earlier, I spent a little while in the hospital last week because being a stuntman is pretty tough sometimes. But no more details on why I was in the hospital, other than I'm okay and I will be okay. The doctor gave me at least another week or two to live, but being in the hospital really puts life into perspective. Love your family, give them a hug, and tell them you love them every single day. And if they're hard of hearing, tell them twice, or at least until they can hear you. If you have your family, that's all you need. You need absolutely not another thing. And don't sweat the small shit in life you can't change especially when someone gets mad when you say God bless you. Be you, be true, and just be who you are and the best person you can be. And one last thing before I sign off, if there's anything in this video or on my channel that has truly offended you, please unsubscribe. I don't need your negativity and neither do you, the people. Thank you all very much for watching. I love you all and I'll see you soon.